Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome to my vlog video. This is the first one I'm doing. So, you know, first of many, like everything else on my channel. I'm getting lots of people just asking me about the vlogs. I've been telling people I'm going to start a vlog pretty soon. But, uh, you know, I'm not really, not really sure what a vlog really even fucking is, man, to be honest with you. So I guess we'll just start out a little bit talking about how I became Chronic Gamers. And then we can go from there. And I'll keep you guys updated with everything that we do. Ooh, I got to get in these woods right here, man. That's where I'm going. Right now I'm on a walk with my dog. That's my dog, Little Bear. He's my baby. Uh, we're going to one of my favorite spots. Part of my pancreas Titus is I got to get exercise, walk around and stuff like that. So instead of going to a trail, I like getting back in these deep woods and just kind of hiking around. Uh, if you guys find this, man, shit. <coughs> <coughs> shit, <coughs> my bad, my bad. All right, so who is Chronic Gamers and how did I end up making my channel? Uh, pretty simple, man, to be honest with you. I'm 33 years old. And I've been in construction and sawmills my entire life, worked my ass off, you know, about as hard as I could have done, man. Came from nothing, family grew up on food stamps, five kids, you know, same old stories about every American out there. But uh, mine gets a little different because once I hit 33, I mean, well, let me start off by telling you a little bit about my wife, my love of my life, man. We've been together since we were 16. Uh, she means everything in this world to me. Couldn't live in this world without her. Wouldn't want to live in this world without her. And I mean, she's my baby doll, love her forever. Uh, we're high school sweethearts. We'll be together to the day we die. We're soulmates all the way through, so... You guys hear me talk about my baby on my channel, that too. Uh, I have no kids. I got a bunch of nieces and nephews that I love like kids. I mean, honestly, I would die for every one of those boys and girls. Um, when I was 33, let's just get to it, man. When I was 33 years old, or not 33, excuse me, when I was 30 years old, I was on a camping trip and I started having extreme, I mean, I'm talking extreme stomach pains and back pains, stuff like I've never felt before, man. And I've been, I've been through some shit, but uh, man, just take a minute. Look at how beautiful this place is absolutely beautiful there's a field we're coming up on too uh hopefully my vlogs i think i'm gonna try to do when i'm outside talking to you guys like this you know when i'm exercising getting my my daily walks in i'll just bring you guys along and tell you guys a little bit more about crown gamers every time and then of course get you guys involved in like uh the shit that i got going on in the future but right now i just try to catch you up where was i get sidetracked that's, that's my thing man i don't mean to I, I get sidetracked all the time though so uh yeah we were on a camping trip in my favorite place it's called Clearwater. i'll show you guys that in one of my next vlog videos and uh, after the stomach pain happened, I waited like a couple of weeks and it just kept going. Put me on the couch for almost a week once. And I said, oh, fuck, babe, I got to go to the doctor. Now, before this, I never was a doctor person. I'd never go to the doctor. I hated doctors. I mean, I thought that if you went and saw a doctor, then they're just going to tell you you got cancer. So, you, you know, don't show up and you won't get it. But apparently that's not quite how it works. <laughs> so uh, I went to the doctor and the ER diagnosed me with chronic pancreatitis. Told me that if I had another beer in my life, I'd probably die. And I said, well, fuck, that sucks, man. Because I know I was a big drinker, but I like drinking. You know, I like to tip back a couple. Whew. This is hard to talk and walk at the same time, man. So uh, after that, it basically just changed my life around 100%, man. I mean, I, I wasn't able to do anything because, you know, all my jobs have been manual labor and stuff like that. And I mean, I can't go more than a couple hours without having extreme pain. And I'm on pain medicine basically my entire life now. Take pain medicine every uh, four to five hours. And you know, it's, just, it's basically just miserable, but I try to keep upbeat. I try to look at the positive side. Chronic pain guarantee is uncurable. Uh, sucks like a fucking, you know, it's just like having your dick in a freaking gopher hole. It's not a fun time, man. Uh, <coughs> oh shit. That's the dog in the world, baby. He loves it out here. What little bear? You love it? Say hi. Say hi to my gamers. Say hi to all the gamers. He says hi. He loves you guys. Uh... <coughs> Yeah, so basically after that, though, I got put into a, a, you know, I went into some pretty bad depression, to be honest with you. I'm still struggling with depression. Uh, part of the reason being is that I got to watch my wife go to work every day, and I have trouble even getting out of bed some mornings, so uh, can't really explain it to your friends and shit. You know, I don't want to go cry to everybody out there, so I guess I'll cry to you guys on my vlog a little bit more. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so after about a year of just, you know, feeling, oh shit, almost went down, man down. After about a year of just uh, trying my best to, you know, keep working and, and doing all that shit, doing what I can to earn extra money on the side, making some like, you know, working in my garage and shit, it just got too much. So <sighs> I figured I'm not going to make money on YouTube, really. You know, I haven't made hardly any money on YouTube yet, but it's a good place for me to share my experiences in life, you know, and I've always been an extreme, you know, I've always loved gaming ever since I was a kid. I mean, I remember playing Hugo on PC, so... A lot of you kids out there have no idea what that is, but it, it was a fucking great game when I was like, really the worm? Are you kidding me? Dig Dug? Come on, baby. So instead of sitting around and uh, 
feeling sorry for myself, which, you know, I did for a little while, I'll be honest with you, kind of thinking Titus is a mean son of a bitch, man. Um, I decided to be productive, you know, stay positive, look at the, you know, when I was in my hospital, man, and having my surgery, I had two major surgeries, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that in another vlog, but uh, I'll tell you what, man, I, I was watching little kids, little girls that were no older than like four years old going through the same shit I was, so how the fuck am I going to complain, right? But leads me to my, hey, little bear! Little bear! Fuck, he can't, he went gone. He never goes that far away. Come on, boy. He scared us on the internet. But yeah, so I decided to get pro proactive and uh, figured if I start my YouTube channel up, you know, worst thing that can happen is no one watches. And I, you know, I've always had a knack for finding glitches and exploits because I've never been the best at any video game. I'm just kind of your average gamer. But uh, yeah, that's going to change with uh, Fortnite. Mark my words, boys and girls. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so basically, like I said, instead of uh, sitting around being sorry for myself, I decided to say, fuck it. I'm going to be proactive. I'm going to try to spread the word. I'm going to just get out. I'm going to feel like I'm doing something every day instead of just sitting and feeling sorry for myself. Uh, my dad, he passed away at 55 from heart issues. And, you know, he kind of just sat around and, and was okay with dying. And I'm not. You know, they told me to get out and walk. I'm going to get out and walk. They told me to exercise. I'm going to get out and exercise because I want to hang out with my wife. I want to see my nephews and nieces. I want to hang out with you guys out there on the internet. And uh, you see where this life goes, man. You only get one, so you got to stay positive and try to live it the best you can. <sighs> but, I mean, that in a nutshell is basically how I became Chronic Gamers, you know, from Chronic Banker and Titus. Uh, you got your boy here after, out of it. You know, you're, you're able to uh, <laughs> turn something negative. It's going to be negative no matter what, but try to just keep positive, I say. Don't turn it into a positive because you're just trying to lie to yourself then, but you got to keep positive about it and keep looking at the good things. Good things in life, man. The little things, you got to find them. But I'm going to do more of these vlogs. This is just the first one. Just sharing it out. I'm not even going to post this one. Who knows? But i uh, give you guys a shout out. Everybody out there, I appreciate you watching my videos. This whole Chronic Gamer shit's just blowing up. We have like 8,000 subs. And I can't wait to see where it goes this next year. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy these vlogs. Like I said, I'll keep you guys posted on where I'm going, what I, you know, other stories. I got tons of stories for you. I just can't wait to tell you. But uh, we'll make this one short. Like I said, so story in a nutshell. Chronic Panger and Titus, no working anymore. So I got plenty of time on my hands to try to spend it with you guys and, you know, do what I can. Uh, Get out there, work in my garage, get on the hikes, go camp with my family. Love them, you know, love them every day like it's the last. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys like this vlog. Say bye, little bear. Yeah, they're going to check us out later. Have a good one, guys. Take her easy till the next one.